on July 9, 2025, at 9 hours 57 minutes and 30 to seconds universal time, we expect Earth to complete one full rotation on its axis in less than 24 hours, making it one of the shortest days on record. And what's even weirder is that this won't be the first shorter day in recent history. On July 5, 2024, the Earth completed a rotation in 23 hours, 59 minutes, 55 seconds, 1.66 milliseconds less than 24 hours, according to the International Earth Rotation Service. It was the shortest day since reliable records began about 50 years ago. And these aren't isolated incidents. Days have actually been getting shorter across the globe for around two decades now, with the average rate of shortening at around 1.8 milliseconds per year. So why is the Earth speeding up? What's behind these tiny changes, and how might they affect us? We'll tell you all about it right after. So here's what's happening. Right now, the Moon is farther from Earth's equator and closer to the poles than usual. That means it doesn't exert its usual tidal breaking force on our planet, allowing it to spin a bit faster. To understand this, let's look at the Moon's effect on Earth's tides. The Moon's gravity pulls water towards it, which bulges up on the side of the Earth facing the Moon and another bulge on the opposite side. These are the highest tides, called spring tides, which happen twice a year during the new and full moons but the tides on the sides of Earth perpendicular to the Moon-Earth line are lower. So as Earth rotates, different locations experience high and low tides. Because of these tidal bulges, Earth gets stretched out into an oblate spheroid shape. The equatorial bulge adds about 6,000 kilometers to Earth's diameter. In other words, Earth's equatorial region moves about 34 kilometers farther away from the Moon than its polar regions do. Since the Moon exerts a gravitational force proportional to the inverse square of the distance between the two bodies, this means the Moon's gravity pulls harder on the equatorial bulge than on the poles. The difference between the forces at the equator and the poles creates a torque that acts like a break on Earth's rotation. This process slows down Earth's rotation by about 6.1 kilometers per hour every 100 million years, resulting in a day that is 10 minutes longer than it is today. In fact, just over 1 to 2 billion years ago, when the Moon was much closer to Earth, a day was only 19 hours long. Over billions of years, Earth's rotation has slowed from a few thousand rotations per minute to just once every 24 hours. However, in recent years, Earth has begun spinning faster, reversing the long-term trend. If you remember the shortest day ever recorded so far was on July 5, 2024, when it was 1.66 milliseconds short of 24 hours. Well, that was likely caused by the Moon passing through its orbital path close to Earth's equator. The Moon orbits Earth along an elliptical path, so its distance varies throughout the year. When the Moon is closer to the equator, it exerts a stronger tidal force, slowing Earth's rotation. But when the Moon is farther away, the opposite occurs. Currently, the Moon is at its farthest point from Earth in its orbit, which is about 400 kilometers beyond it, its typical distance. This, combined with the fact that it's also tilted relative to Earth's equator, results in the Moon exerting a weaker overall gravitational force on Earth. As a result, we're seeing shorter days. The expected July 9th shorter day is actually part of an ongoing series of shorter days as Earth and the Moon continue their celestial dance. The next shorter days are predicted to be July 22nd and August 5th, 2025. Each of these dates marks when the Moon will be at its farthest point from Earth and aligned with the equator. According to the International Earth Rotation Service, July 9th will likely see the biggest change of the three shortening the day by about 1.3 to 1.51 milliseconds. While these changes are barely perceptible, they're still significant enough to require precise atomic clocks to measure them. And even though your phone or computer clock won't reflect these changes, scientists use them to calculate variations in Earth's rotation speed. These calculations are used to adjust coordinated universal time, often by adding a leap second which is an additional second added to the final minute of the day. Since 1972, 
there have been 27 leap seconds added to keep UTC synchronized with Earth's rotation. However, if Earth continues to spin faster, it might eventually need a negative leap second, meaning a whole second would be removed from the last minute of the day. This hasn't happened yet but some experts predict it could occur as soon as 2029. Now while the moon is the primary driver of Earth's rotation rate, it's not the only factor at play. Climate change also plays a role as glaciers melt and groundwater is redistributed, mass shifts toward the equator, slowing Earth's rotation. Some studies suggest that climate change is adding about 1.33 milliseconds to our days per century. For instance, between 1993 and 2009, Earth's rotation accelerated by roughly 3.7 milliseconds per year, likely due to melting glaciers in Greenland. In contrast, the post-2011 slowdown of about 1.8 milliseconds per year could be attributed to the 2011 Japan earthquake. The quake shifted Earth's mass by about 1.5 trillion meters cubed, equivalent to moving about 25 billion metric tons of material causing the planet to spin faster. These changes might seem trivial, but they highlight the intricate relationship between celestial mechanics and Earth's systems. It also shows how even minuscule shifts in our planet's rotation can have broader implications for timekeeping. In the past, astronomers and physicists have predicted that Earth's rotation would eventually slow down to the point where a year would have two days. One of those days would be six hours long, and the other would be 18 hours long. But don't worry, it won't happen anytime soon. That's because Earth's rotation rate is currently speeding up rather than slowing down. In fact, a few weeks ago, researchers reported that Earth experienced its fastest acceleration ever recorded. This occurred during the New Year's week, and Earth sped up by 4.5 milliseconds on January 1st, reaching a speed of 1,008 rotations per minute. Scientists are still investigating the cause of these sudden changes in rotation rate, but they believe it could be due to various factors such as shifts in groundwater distribution, variations in atmospheric pressure and ocean currents, or even earthquakes. It's unclear whether these rapid accelerations will continue, but they serve as a reminder of the dynamic and complex systems that exist within our planet and its surrounding environment. And although these changes are really cool and interesting, they also highlight the delicate balance of our planet's systems and the potential impacts of even small shifts in its rotation rate. As we continue to monitor these changes, it is important to recognize the interconnectedness of our planet's systems and the potential implications of these changes for our daily lives. Maybe one day we'll even get to experience a negative leap second taking a second away from the last minute of the day. Thank you for watching this episode of SCI Show Space. If you would like to help support this channel, we have a platform where you can support us directly and get cool perks like submitting a question to our inbox. You can find the link to that below.